Hey, <laughs> hit it. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? It's Roger here. And my name is John Vong. We're uh, in, a, in this segment today from Local SEO Search. We want to talk about um, daycare. And in terms of the, the business owners that are in this industry, a very, very important industry, um, how you as business owners can keep um, and, and keep your, I guess, all your positions and your seats filled in your daycare centers. What options are out there for you? What are the challenges? Some are ch what challenges can be out there? And of course, some of the services we provide here at Local SEO Search, how we can help you. So this is a pretty interesting um, segment um, because I currently have a toddler myself. So um, regarding our search to find the right daycare, childcare for our son um, and how we search it all is a little bit different than some of the other people who may be searching, but um, it all boils down to being present or being available um, when our time came. Um, so as a provider of uh, childcare or daycare, um, you know that there's a lot of overhead costs. Um, you're going to have to be making sure you, you pay your rent on time. You probably have to sign a long-term lease. You have to make sure that you have enough space and outdoor space as well as indoor space um, mm. to have enough room, rooms and teachers um, for for each of the age groups. And facilities. Uh, and facilities. Because I know the, the ministry has very strict regulations, how many bathrooms, the kitchen, the space, the square footage. It's all very, very expensive modifications that you may have to do for this business. So uh, again, and there's so much involved, especially when you're dealing with parents and their loved ones, especially their kids, they're going to be very picky. So you got to make sure that it's either clean, it's a great location, it has great teachers, uh, good reputation. Um, there's so many factors mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, and it's hyper competitive. So um, I actually live in Richmond Hill, Ontario, and when I was looking for our uh, daycare, childcare facility for uh, my son, we we actually went and went online and looked at probably 10 uh, daycare facilities, called them up and got a good feel for which one to use, right? Um, and, you know, my wife actually went in and met with the, the center director, um, probably all 10 of them, and interviewed them kind of spent half an hour, an hour at each, talking to the teachers, talking to the staff, talking to, um, you know, some of the parents that walked in and all, to, to see if it was a good fit for our son. And the curriculum as well. So what is the head count? What is the turnover rate? Um, how, how is there a wait list? If, if there isn't, what's wrong with it, right? Mm -hmm. um, why is there a wait list? Um, how convenient is it to our home? You know, there's so many other factors, but we did have to, you know, call some of the, take a look at some of the reviews and references, um, talk to the teachers to have a good feel as to how they taught, um, their experience while working there. We work with, we actually spoke to a lot of the teachers that has been at the daycare center for, 15, 20 years. So we felt very safe going to this daycare because they taught, uh, they treated their staff very well. In turn, the staff will treat the kids very well. Right? Do you remember how you searched? Uh, so my wife actually did a lot of the research and uh, what I did recall was uh, we Googled it and we looked at the reviews mm -hmm. and we tended to look for a five minute or five to 10 minute drive within where we live because we knew that we would have to mm. be picking them up and dropping off daily. Mm -hmm. So we actually used that daycare center when, once my son turned one. Mm. Um, so we actually prepared probably at 10 months. Uh, so, you know, two months of buffer to figure out who we really wanted mm. to do, uh, work with. Um, the reason I ask is because if you, as a business owner, uh, of a, a child care center, there's many options for you. And you're, I'm sure you've thought of flyers for certain times of the year, maybe local newspapers, community newspapers to say we're in your neighborhood, uh, maybe uh, Facebook, maybe, you know, for mama groups, uh, mummies groups, etc. Uh, but there's so many different uh, ways to get your message out there. 
the challenge is, and that's why here at Local SEO Search, we really specialize helping businesses in your industry put your put the best message forward in the right place in front of the parents at the moment they're ready to make that purchase. And of course, um, you know, the world's changed. It, it, you know, there used to be directories, there used to be uh, flyers used to be very large and newspapers, community newspapers were, were very, were, were, the, were the places where uh, businesses like yours would advertise. But today it is all virtually digital, whether it's on the handheld device or on a computer uh, or a tablet, people are, mothers and parents are on the go. They can search anywhere and, um, you know, uncover the the type of um, uh, facility to be best for their child. And, you know, if, if you're looking at a daycare center, um, you probably will be using that center for multiple years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started at one year old, um, but we'll probably be at that uh, daycare center for at least four, year, four years, uh, for another three years, because mm -hmm. once your son or daughter becomes four, he can go to preschool. Um, however, you also may want to consider after school programs and um, stuff that, you know, in the future, they can also uh, accommodate because mm -hmm. you don't like to keep switching and moving, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you want consistency with the teachers and, um, you know, making sure that they treat your child the right way, mm -hmm. right? Um, but here at Local SEO Search, we can definitely help you as a, a provider of childcare services uh, to stand out. We offer SEO services for, you know, we work with hundreds of other daycare and childcare companies uh, throughout our years, and we understand your business. We can really help you grow and help you, you know, stand out from the crowd and hopefully um, let people know how you differ, how you differentiate yourself. Uh, make sure that you have a wait list of six months so that you don't have to ever worry that there will be open capacity that you can't, um, you know, you're sitting on potential cash mm -hmm. that you can be making. Right. And uh, really, as a business owner, you know, every child will be moving on. So you, you're always planning for the future. As you say, you mentioned that list, a waiting list. Uh, if you know that of, of all the children, X percent are moving on because they're moving up to another school or another district uh, because they're in a different age now, um, you need a steady stream of parents that need your services, that need to find you and uh you need to be in front of them when they're ready for your, your services. Um, so give us a call uh, here at Local SEO Search. We can definitely help your business um, generate more leads, get you more people on that wait list, or get you to fill your current child care daycare center uh, with your ideal kind of clients. Um, please give us a call here at 416-888-8756. Thank you. Thank you.